I'd been a senior lecturer in education for, for seven years, having been a literacy consultant and a teacher for eight. Um, during the, the time I was a lecturer, my husband had a brain tumour, uh, and it made it very difficult to cope with the job and to cope with his brain tumour and his surgeries. Um, so uh, although I tried to reduce my hours to make it better, it also coincided that my parents-in-law became very ill. They were in their late 80s and they had a dementia um, and they had lots of issues with cancer and a whole host of medical problems. So I took redundancy from my job, which was necessary, but it kind of, I, I felt I lost obviously my status and my pay. And, and during that time, I became very depressed. Um, and I think part of my low mood and anxiety and depression came from being a carer. And I don't mean to be negative, it was the right thing to do for my parents-in-law. But since I've been involved with Mercy Care, it appears that lots of carers end up having problems themselves with mental health issues and also addiction issues, alcohol um, abuse or, or drugs for some people. And for me, um, I wouldn't take antidepressants. Um, I just used to drink too much. And my husband and I both ended up seeing some alcohol services. We both agreed to take antidepressants for a while. I have managed to come off mine now. And we had talking therapies. And that's kind of like my introduction to Mersey Care, was firstly by alcohol services support. Um, and from that, I became a volunteer. Um, I became a volunteer on the recovery forums. Um, and I used to do some work with people with drugs and alcohol issues, sort of, sort of talking about your own story. Um, and then also on the mental health rehabilitation ward. And I found that very positive because I, I was using my skills again that, from my job. Um, and I was doing something outside, just not just being a carer in a, in a derogatory way, but I needed something outside the family. So I started to obviously do volunteering. And that's about two years ago. And I, I have to say, I, I got to the point where I didn't feel that I had anything in my life anymore, that all my achievements were behind me. I was, I was a teacher, I was a senior lecturer, but now I was struggling financially and, and being a carer, and it was very, very difficult. And then you feel guilty because you think, you're, you're treating people as if they're a burden and you don't mean to be like that, but you, you, so you turn it inwards and get very depressed and down. But being involved with Mercy Care in various aspects as a volunteer and with the Recovery College, I would say has changed my life and changed my outlook. And now I don't see it as, well, I'm not a senior lecturer anymore because I've done that. Um, but the volunteering I've done with Mercy Care and some of the training courses I've done have made me feel so much better that I can meet a lot of really interesting people, some with similar backgrounds, some with different backgrounds. It could be depression, some people have a diagnosis, it could be psychosis, it could be bipolar. Um, but we have like a little team of people who've been working on an hourly basis with the college. I've had issues with depression, I've had issues with alcohol, so I'm using those kind of things to to speak with other people who have maybe similar issues. But I'm also using my sort of teaching and training and tutoring skills from my previous work. So it's, it, it's a really different feeling through being involved with the volunteering and with the recovery college. I have got hope again now, and it's given me the opportunity to, to use my experience as well as previous work experience, my actual lived experience, with the aim of trying to help others. and. It's such a positive thing and we have people who've come along to courses who've been very shy, very anxious, maybe haven't said anything for the first couple of weeks and then you just see a little smile tug at the corner of the mouth and you think something's happening here and then they might start to actually say things. And pe People feel that they've lost control of their lives and they've lost their confidence and the Recovery College really helps people to recognize their skills and experiences and abilities that they may have forgotten that they've got. And then from that, they can actually learn new skills and have new experiences. And it could be learning more about their health condition, but that's just one aspect. There are lots of other courses within the college that will teach them new things and open up opportunities that they didn't think they had before.
Sometimes people make a start and say, well, I need a reason to get up in the morning. Um, I don't really mind what course I'm doing. It's just that thing about getting up, going out, having a routine. And that's the starting point for many. And I've met some amazing people. And for many have actually said, it's actually having the confidence to go into a situation with people you don't know. You could be very anxious. And then at the very least, you're learning to have that contact with strangers. And many of them have made strong friendships. And that's really key as well. And you may then carry on seeing people outside the recovery college, not on a course. And you make links and you make friendships and there may be other groups that you want to join with them. It's given me hope and it's given me opportunities that I didn't know were there. It's reminded me of my skills and experience and it's hard to say because it sounds like then you're being really big-headed, but it's kind of reminded me I have got skills and I have got things to offer. And it's also given me new skills and new opportunities that I never was aware of before. And that's the thing, you just don't know that taking that first step, how much your life can improve.